Hi, this is CS Trades 101. I got this awesome video here for you guys. Um, this is uh, some good stuff here. Um, this is not my uh, content, but I want to share it, man. This is such a good video. So um, I can't take credit for it, but you can always hit sub on my channel and smash the sub button. And uh, we always got the newest content for you. So this is brand new and I would love you guys to watch this whole video through because there's some good DD in here and it tells the truth, okay? So let's rip this shit out. A lot of news to cover today for AMC, especially when it comes to the dark pool of data. If you've been following Twitter recently, you might have noticed hashtag dark pool abuse is trending. This hashtag has become popular after it was revealed just how much of AMC's volume is being redirected to the dark pools. They had to use dark pools on 71% of AMC volume. Think about that. This is a win for us apes. Even if the price was driven down a few bucks, they literally had to redirect 71% of all trading volume of AMC into dark pools out of necessity. You know what this means? They are completely in shambles. They wouldn't use dark pools at such comical levels unless they had absolutely no other option. They went from 40 to 50 to 60% to now 70% daily dark pool trading with AMC volume in order to maintain their control. At one point at 12.18 today, it even reached 91%. Jesus. Next is 80% daily and 90% wow. daily, and you get the picture. The point is, they're getting further and further into a corner they cannot escape from. You know it, guys. Apes are increasing by the day. Banks are pulling away from the shorters by the day. Social media is exposing hedge funds by the day. And all they can do to protect themselves is increase their illegal activities, which in turn sheds more light into them. It's only a matter of time until we see new bombshell news against hedge funds, whether it be from us retail investors, regulators, banks themselves, or even the hedge funds screwing themselves over. Mm -hmm. But remember, the road ahead is filled with mind games and price games. Keep your head level and continue your way. Stay strong, apes. So if we open up Market Chameleon, we're able to see the amount of trades reported in the dark pool. Dark pool trades reported for AMC have accounted for 71% of the total volume today. Over the past 20 days, the average dark pool volume has been 63%. Total volume in the dark pool is 36.7 million. The VWAP price for only the dark pool trades is 36. TRF trades for AMC are reported by dark pools to trade reporting facilities and represent activity away from the mainstream or lit exchanges. We've known for a while that the volume in the dark pools were fairly high, but for it to reach 91% is pretty ridiculous. One former Wall Street lawyer commented on Twitter about the dark pool abuse, informing apes of some possible actions. Former Wall Street lawyer here, do apes know that the SEC could halt or suspend dark pool trading anytime they want? The government tests pilots programs all the time. Why not pause for 30 days? Hashtag dark pool abuse, AMC, AMC squeeze. Tin foil hat on, gonna step out on a limb here and say that the level of illegal trading practices are so extensive, it would uncover a level of violations that would further damage the reputation of regulators For sure. and future investors in the rig system. There, I said it. Now, Street Smart 8 brings up a good point, as you would have expected the SEC to have already done something by now. The fact that they haven't can mean multiple things, including the fact that them taking action could possibly reveal years upon years of lies and manipulation. Ever since this dark pool hashtag has started trending, Apes have become more bullish overall and have begun pushing harder on the SEC for changes. Whether these changes get implemented soon or not does not seem to matter in the end, as apes are going to hold for as long as they can. Be prepared for the MOAS to also be the low ass. <laughs> the longest of all short squeezes. We're all waiting for margin calls and for the domino effect to send us to another galaxy, but this is unprecedented territory with unprecedented retail holders, with unprecedented shenanigans. I remember hearing that the squeeze would happen once we cleared $15, we went to 72, they haven't covered, and we're back down to 37. 
be prepared for this can to get kicked down the road for as long as the hedgies can get away with it. And with the massive dark pool trading and the SEC busy on adult websites, I don't see anything changing anytime soon. Shills and bots are now talking about selling between $300 to $350. Last time they talked like that, it was a sell at $50, and we went to $72. Expect the next run up to possibly clear between 400 to 500. Remember I told you guys this? Hammered back down to 100. With all this manipulation, there's really no time. This guy knows his shit too. Do this. They can let it run to 1,000, then drop it to 300. They will. Then 1,200. They, they want to shake us off, guys. We won't put up with don't that shit. Don't push your job if you don't have to. Prepare for the shenanigans. Be prepared to wait it out, and be prepared for the SEC to do absolutely nothing. That's correct. Best case scenario, we avoid a capital gains tax. Chill out. So true. This guy. is a very important thing to keep in mind for newer apes, as we don't know when exactly the short squeeze will happen, so we need to be prepared to hold for as long as necessary. One of the benefits the apes will enjoy is reduced taxes if they do have to hold for a long period of time. Whether we will actually have to hold for more than a year is up in the air, as that would insinuate that the SEC is still doing nothing by then and our shares haven't been validated. I gotta tell you, one of the first things I learned when I started on Wall Street is that the system is not fair. And I will be the first to admit that it's rigged in so many ways, and yet it's still mm -hmm. the greatest wealth creation machine in history. Fucking so, with rats, that in mind, man. I see things like Turns the millionaires, guys, guys, and other ways that are telegraphed that the big insiders are, are using to get the edge, and sometimes at the expense of individual investors. But an area I'm not an expert in are the dark pools. But my next guest spent eight years trying to fight this battle alone as she's joining us now, Stephanie Camerman, also known as the Stock Whisperer. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. First, just tell us what is a dark pool? Hi there, Charles. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, the market is rigged and manipulated by the dark pool. And what it is, is it's this alternative trading system called an ATS where the big institutions do most of their trades. And why they love to do their trades in this alternative exchange is that they don't have to report one single share until their entire order is completed. completed. Yep. So it's they have bullshit. three hours even after it's completed to Before show that they have yep. to show That's so correct. Trade. So they it's love fuckery. It. Fuckery, right. guys. And, and, and of course, there's, it can be worse than that because you discovered some loopholes in this dark pool system, including that 24 hour late rule. How does that work? Well, I was informed by a floor trader that um, if Goldman Sachs, we'll just use him, he's one of the biggest institutions out there. If they were to cross their guys. trade She's wrong. from their and London Citadel. desk to their New York desk, they don't have to report this Three trade hours. for 24 hours. Ola is wrong, this 24 is hours. I hope you guys enjoyed today's. Okay, guys. Hit the sub button and uh, hit the thumbs up. This is CS Trades 101. We've got the most breaking news out there. We're keeping this shit real, Wolfpack, because we fucking own these shares. 85 plus percent we own these. We will hold them till the end of time. I know I am. How about you?